In the previous video, we used the separated RGB layers to remove sun glow. If you missed that video, link will be in the description. In this video, let's do the opposite and add a nice warm flavor to an image by using the separated RGB layers. I will also leave a link in the description for the RGB CMI separation video. So let's kick off by separating the image into RGB layers. To speed things up, I will use a macro I have created for this purpose. Awesome! This created a group with RGB layers and the black fill layer at the bottom of the group. First thing we need to do is to change the black fill layer to a white fill layer. I can just select the black fill layer and change its color to white using the color wheel. Time to change the blend mode of the RGB layers. I will select all of them and change it from add to multiply. For this technique, the blue layer should be in the middle, so let's move it by dragging it between the red and the green layer. We're still not seeing anything and this is because the child fill layers are still in multiply blend mode. Let's change them to screen. Excellent, we get this very dark image. And we are going to fix that by setting the blend mode of the blue layer to soft light. Wow, that looks awesome. Let me quickly disable this group so we can see the before. Pretty amazing. The image is already much warmer than before. To finish up and to give it even a more warmer look, I can change the blend range of the blue layer. Pretty amazing result. Optionally, we can add a lens filter adjustment to give that extra boost of warmth. By playing with the radius, we can control the strength. But I think about 50 was just about right. Let's take a quick look at the original again. I will drag it to the top so we can do a quick compare. Not bad at all. One thing to keep in mind is that in most cases, the green will be too much in the end result. In this image, it turned out fine, but in most cases you probably will need to dim it down by lowering the opacity of the green channel to around 80%. This will make the image even warmer. Let's take a look at another example. Pretty cool image, but I think it's too cold. So let's apply our technique. Separate to RGB layers. Change the fill color to white. Make sure the blue is in between the red and the green. Change the blend modes of the channel layers to multiply. Change the blend modes of the channel colors to screen. Set the blend mode of the blue channel to soft light and adjust its blend range. Now, this is a good example of what I mentioned earlier. The end result has too much green. Let's move the opacity of the green layer to around 80%. And that looks much better. Finally, as the example before, let's add a lens filter adjustment to make it warmer. Awesome! That looks much better for this image, I think. Let's quickly compare with the original. This effect also works very nicely with food photos, especially breakfast photos. So let's try it with this image. I'm going to speed up the basic process, which is exactly the same as the previous examples. However, I'm not going to change the blend mode or the blend range of the blue layer. Now the green seems a bit too much, so let's lower its opacity. I have not yet changed the blend mode of the blue layer, as I want to show you that you don't even need the blue layer. I will just turn it off, and if I then adjust the opacity of the green, we already get this very nice warm effect. If you think it's too red, we can lower the blend range on the highlights in the red layer. Here's a quick look at the before and the after. I would normally say pretty cool, but in this case it is actually pretty warm. If you think you lost some contrast, we can always add a levels adjustment and tune the black level values. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep safe and until the next video.